Yeah, this might be a little bit right under that cloud. I'm going to tell him where it's at. Yeah, it's right under that cloud. Yeah, that's The day started with a promise to be one of the best days of soaring so far this year. Puffy cumulus clouds were building in from the northwest, a sure sign of thermals, the rising air that turns a mere glider flight into a soaring adventure. For my first cross-country flight, the plan, a simple 20-mile out and back to the local TV station's next red weather radar dome, the Black Radar for short. Flight 2 Zulu 7 Delta Sierra is preparing to release. Okay, yeah, you're going to be turning right, right back here to that left, so we'll take you up. Of course, there was no lift there, but step one was straightforward enough. Head out to the clear cut under the street of clouds and find the house thermal. I got to the clear cat at 2,500 feet and struggled to get centered in my first thermal of the day. I climbed 1,500 feet in my first thermal. This was going to be a great day. Experienced sailplane pilots can fly all day and cover well over 1,000 kilometers in conditions like these. So on to step two. Fly from under one cloud to the next, called a cloud street, and keep regaining altitude under each cloud in the thermal updraft until I got out past the black radar. Time to leave the cloud street and sprint for the turn point at the black radar. Then back again to the cloud street and return the way I came. Well, at least sobered by the fact that I've lost a lot of altitude through six knot downdrafts in the sprint out to the black radar turn point. I'm going to have to call up all my fledgling soaring skills to find another thermal, or be forced to land out up here in the hills. Not enough altitude to make it back to the field. All along, I've been tracking alternate landing sites. Decision time will be here shortly. I'm fighting a headwind, and the cloud street only leads me into forested hills and away from good landing sites. Do I head for the tree farm to the east and land out up here in the hills? Or can I find enough lift to climb and make it back to the Willamette Valley's fields, which make this one of the safest places on earth to learn cross-country soaring? Thank <laughs> you.
There it is, lift, rising air. If I can climb enough, I can get over the ridge between me and the valley and at least make it back closer to the field. Three thousand feet. With a 34.8 to 1 glide ratio, that's enough to get me 10 miles with no winds or sink, which translates into a realistic 5 miles. Murphy loves to soar. At any rate, close enough to get me safely to the valley floor. And with any luck, maybe some ridge lift on the other side of the ridge, enough to get me all the way back. North Plains traffic, glider 7 Delta Sierra is one mile northwest of the field, uh, making a uh, right-hand landing, runway 26 North Plains. Home again. I made it.